Today, I'm going to show you how to create a horizontal slider like this, but with a twist. It's interactive and has a 3D effect. Take a look at my website. When I hover over this image, it moves along with the text. It's a great way to make your hero section more engaging and really showcase your images. But that's not all. If I click on the right side of the section, it scrolls smoothly and you can add different images and text to each slide. Also, you can even add as many slides as you want. If you want the exact same design, you can download it from the description below. I created this using Elementor's free version and a bit of GSAP code. And trust me, it only takes a few simple steps. Okay, let me show you how I did it. We'll start by setting up our base container. I'll do that quickly. Let's select it and adjust its container width to full. We'll also give it a minimum height of 100 VH, which gives me entire canvas to put my slider on. Set the gap to zero. That removes any unwanted spacing. And by changing the wrap to no wrap and the overflow to hidden, we keep our layout clean and prevent any stray elements from interrupting the scroll. Next, remove the padding around the container like this and then go here to assign the CSS class as wrapper. To keep things clear, let's rename this container as moving slides. Now, it's time to add and style each individual slide. We'll add another container inside, set it to full width and put the minimum height as 100 VH. So it aligns perfectly with our main container. Okay, next, we'll add a background image representing each destination. First, let's go with Canada. I'll go here. Okay, give me a sec. Uh, I'll choose this image. And done. Now, adjust its positioning until it's displayed just right. To enhance the image, without overpowering the content, we'll add a subtle gradient overlay. I'll do that quickly. And change the opacity to 0 0.9. All right. Then remove any padding and set the size to grow, which fills the container nicely. Now we'll assign this container the CSS class slide to make it easy to style. With background in place, let's add a bold heading displaying the destination's name. So let's add a heading widget from here and customize it from the left. And with this, we are done. So my slides are ready. Now all I have to do is duplicate these slides and change content on each of these slides. Also, to avoid confusion, I will temporarily switch the main container's direction to vertical. So I'll do my edits quickly and this is how it will look. When all our slides are set, let's change the main container's direction back to horizontal for the final scroll layout. Now, let's add an extra layer to make this experience more immersive. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because... Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So let's add a container and name this fixed elements. Inside, we'll add an HTML widget and below that, a heading with text that reads your next location in. Like a teaser for what's coming up. We'll customize this to fit the theme, setting its position to fixed so it stays in place as the slides pass by. And adding offset values to keep it perfectly aligned. Let's add a person's image to act as a travel companion. I'll do that quickly. Done. We'll set this image position to fixed from here and add some offset values to place it naturally in the layout. Once done, set a z-index of 10 to ensure it's always on top. Now, to finish the design, let's add a CTA button. From the left, drag the widget. Now, change the button text to this. And from the style menu, tweak it a little to match the theme design. All right, it's done. I'll set the position to fixed and give a z-index of 10. Also, adjust the horizontal and vertical offset till you reach your right position. Finally, let's add some custom CSS code in the moving slide container and the GSAP code in the HTML widget. Now, this makes our elements fixed as we scroll to each slide. Starting with the person's image, 
let's set the horizontal orientation to the right with an offset of about 650 pixels, giving it a balanced, slightly offset placement. All right, now select this container from the navigator and go to the advanced tab. Scroll down to the CSS code section and add this code from the description below. Once that's done, go to the next container using the navigator and look for the HTML widget. Click on it and paste this HTML code from the description below. To make the heading even more interesting, I'll go to the left and apply the mouse effect and tweak the speed for an interactive scroll effect. Now, when you hover over the heading, it will behave like this. We'll apply the same motion effects to our other fixed elements and some hover effects to the other headings and style them to match for a clean look. And that's it. Let's update the changes and preview the page. And yeah, it works perfectly. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.